All right, YouTube, I hate Twitter, but I'm going to have to read out a tweet here because it's just so stupid, honestly. It comes from Laura Ingram from Fox News. Even liberal Rutland, Vermont has had enough of refugee dumps in their rural community. Uh, of course, in reference to Mayor Loris uh, losing his position. And she's wrong on all counts here. This is what I spoke of. This is an example of people who have never been to Rutland, probably never to the state of Vermont, attempting to weigh in on a political situation here and not really knowing what they're talking about because they've never asked anybody in the community. Uh, Laura, let me uh, set you straight here. Rutland is not a rural community. We're a city. Um, we do not live in huts uh, with dirt floors. We are not just a bunch of gun-toting hunters living in the hills in log cabins. This is a metropolitan district. It may not be large by your Manhattan standards, but that doesn't mean that we're underdeveloped and rubbish. I think a lot of times people from outside of Vermont, they think of this as largely nothing more than some mountains and farms between New York City and Montreal or something like, or Albany and Boston. And we are in a rural area, uh, largely. There's a lot of forest here. There are a lot of farms here. But Rutland City, which is what we're talking about here, is not a farm, it's not a mountain. Uh, it's not a ski resort, which is the only thing most out-of-staters have ever seen in our state, <laughs> unless they go leaf peeping up in the Northeast Kingdom or something like that. Uh, additionally, Rutland, Vermont is not liberal. Rutland, Vermont is a swing state-style enclave within a blue state. Rutland is the swing region of Vermont. There typically are much more close voting results here. Um, as far as national elections between Democrats and Republicans. We are far less liberal than certainly places like Burlington or Brattleboro. Um, we would be more akin to the Northeast Kingdom, which actually leans red. I wonder if people realize that there are a couple of counties in, this, in the very blue state of Vermont that lean towards being uh, pro-Republican, uh, including in many cases, Rutland itself. Rutland, uh, votes for Democrats at a vastly lower level than most parts of this state. Um, the Northeast Kingdom even more so. So this is not a rural enclave of hippies that rejected a mayor. Uh, and it also, uh, Laura, didn't have anything to do with the Syrian refugee crisis directly. It had to do with the way the mayor presented it to people, or rather the lack thereof of presentation. The mayor here lost because he lacked transparency and looked dismissive of people's concerns. Not because he suggested taking in Syrian refugees. If he had made that suggestion, come out proud and strong before the community and said, I think we should do this because X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to talk to the aldermen and we're going to have a town meeting and I'll, I'll hear your concerns. We will do it. There won't be a vote on it, but I will still want to hear your concerns. Maybe we can make it a malleable program, whether or not he <laughs> planned to do so. And he probably would have won re-election because people here value transparency. Yeah, small town America, northern New England especially, transparency is very much valued in this part of the country. I know not necessarily so much in your native New York City, which is, by the way, where far-left Bernie Sanders that everyone else considers the standard bearer of our state, he's from, Bur he's from Brooklyn. He didn't grow up in Vermont. He came to Vermont. He's like one of these West Coast trust funders with the with the uh, dreadlocks that come here to skateboard at UVM or something like that. People who come here to smoke weed and play around on their skateboards and get the same dentistry degree that their parents have so that they can go back in a couple decades and inherit the family fortune or something like that. People who live in McMansions. There are a lot of people like that in this state. There are a lot of people who come to this state think they know anything about Vermont because they went skiing for a weekend or they went leaf peeping or something like that, or they went, they wanted Ben and Jerry's, they went up to Burlington, or they saw the Bennington Battle Monument, and so now they, they think they're like a native Vermonter. We have this sort of weird, because we're such a tourist enclave, we have this weird mystique where people want to, to claim like they have some sort of spiritual connection to this state, despite their families never been in this area. You know, no offshoot of their family for 300 years has set foot in the state. They come here for a weekend and think that that makes them hippie trippy or something. There are a lot of people who think that this state is either nothing but backwoods hunters or nothing but hippies. You're wrong on all counts. The election here and Loris loss boiled down to transparency, not refugees. That's what was on people's minds. The refugee issue took a back seat. There were people that would have opposed it virulently 
would not have voted for Loris because of it. It wouldn't have been enough people to unseat him without the additional lack of transparency. We are not a rural area. People from large cities, I'm sure, consider Rutland to be rural. Well, that doesn't make it so. It's still a city. Yeah, we have paved roads here. We have, you know, come and, come and see our eight-story skyscraper sometime. It's quite impressive. It's not exactly the hallmark of living in a, a village with one gas station, a post office, and 13 homes or something like that. If you want to see that, you go to Woodstock or something like that. Yeah, you can find that in this state. There are plenty of really, really small communities. Rutland's not one of them. Rutland is one of the larger settled areas of Vermont. Again, by true metropolitan standards, you know, in the New York DC corridor, it's like, yeah, we're, we're absolutely backwoods. We're totally rubbish. Oh, they have trees next to their street? Jesus, uh, this is a new thing. We never thought of this before. Maybe we should take this back to Manhattan, expand the, the park or something. Uh, but it's not, it's not rural in the sense of backwoods. And it's not, get, get over this mythology that Rutland is liberal. Rutland is not liberal. It's a fairly eclectic mix of different ideologies. There are also a lot of libertarians here. Hell, there are a lot of libertarians up in Burlington. Interesting story. The two other libertarians that I've physically met in my recent lifetime, in both cases, were related to immigration. One of them was the son of a literal African immigrant, somebody, I believe, from Ghana, if I remember correctly. The other one uh, was a master's student who, who now, I believe, is actually in politics up in Burlington. Um who came from India. So <laughs> both of the other libertarians I ever met, uh, the guy, both of which became active in politics, immigrants. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious and uh, neither of them was white. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you want multiculturalism, I guess just join the libertarian movement or something like that. No, we're not a, we're not a liberal enclave. We're a conservative enclave when compared to the rest of the state of Vermont. You compare us with Burlington and we look like we're, you know, from the Bible Belt or something like that. It's more religious. Um, it's certainly very pro-gun. Only part of this state that's kind of anti-gun would be the Burlington area. Everywhere else, small town, village, doesn't matter. Total farmland, middle of nowhere. It's all really pro-gun. Burlington's sort of the one holdout. And that's a large proportion of the population of Vermont, but it's by no means a majority. It's like, why do you think far left so-called Vermont keeps resisting like Bloomberg gun control. It's because we don't want outsider influence in the state. There's no organic movement within the state of any significance to implement further gun control. Funding of and submission of those ideas comes from New York City. Your hometown, by the way, Laura. That's where it's coming from. It's not coming from here, in including from the hippie trippy folks. You know, half of them have assault rifles mounted up on their walls to guard their pot crops, or I guess, or their solar panels or something like that. We're rather unique. And if you haven't spent a significant amount of time here, you don't know how Vermont operates, let alone Rutland. Because Rutland is sort of like uh, the, the black sheep of the family within Vermont. We're the one spot here, other than the Northeast Kingdom, that isn't liberal. And so uh, people have the wrong idea. Now, you, you've gotten it wrong on all three counts, Miss Ingram. You should probably apologize to the people of this state. That's about all. Peace out.